Uh, dear audience, today I will be presenting about entrepreneurial projects. Uh, this is one of this is one of my keynote speech. So in this one, I will be um, correlating how projects can be linked with uh, entrepreneurial. So this is a little bit about me. Um, this I have extracted this uh, my speech from uh, a research article which was published in 2016 and it is this article is talking about an entrepreneurial dimension to manage the projects and this paper is based on the different myths which people are thinking about entrepreneurships and and the project management so let's explore what are the entrepreneurial myths and how we can correlate with the project management so the first myths are entrepreneurs are doers not thinking so which is which is a wrong which is a myth right so uh, definitely entrepreneurs are thinkers if they are not thinkers so uh, they will not be uh, innovative and they will not be like you know exceeding in their businesses second most myth is entrepreneurs are born not made uh, this is also not true this is a myth and um, yes entrepreneurs can be made as well through uh, by learning some skills by learning mentorships yeah Third most important myth is uh, a popular myth is uh, entrepreneurs are always inventors. Yeah, this is not true. They cannot be always in inventors, but they can like you know um, uh, outsource the in invention. They can like you know uh, they can like you know hire people who are more innovative. The fourth myth is entrepreneurs are academic and social misfits, which is uh, uh, very wrong because. Uh, most of the people uh, they were like you know doing their jobs in the big companies universities and professors and they it becomes on pro entrepreneurships and they work in their in their uh, job setups and from that there they make their own like you know uh, companies and startups and spins myth number five entrepreneurs must fit uh, the profile now, this is also a myth it's not uh, true that uh, like you know entrepreneurs not must, must not fit the profile and they can like you know uh, think uh, out of the box as well myth number six is all entrepreneurs need is money no this is not true because we have angel investors there are a lot of people who have money who wants to invest and they need some innovative people or entrepreneurs who can spend their money and they, they can like you know uh, share uh, their like you know share their profits with the angel investors seven most importance about entrepreneurs is all entrepreneurs need is luck now this is also not true because uh, it's, uh, it's like hard work consistencies and uh, and uh, uh, and dedication myth number eight is ignorance is bliss for entrepreneurs now this is not uh, true because uh, uh, you must be you must be uh, a calculated risk taker otherwise uh, like you know ignorance is not blessing all the time uh, myth number nine is entrepreneurs seek success but uh, experience high failures rates uh, this is also not true because uh, most of the entrepreneurs we have seen like they have they face difficulties but they have also like you know uh, blessed with uh, with the successes and the failure rate is not that much high it is like you know very less myth number 10 is entrepreneurs are extreme risk takers like they are gamblers no it's not true because it's a very systematic process and if you follow it then it will be you, anyone can be entrepreneurs but they can uh, there is a risk but not that much extreme okay so these were like 10 different uh, myths and uh, uh, and now i want to correlate like you know this entrepreneurial uh, thinking with the project management so since project management is more uh, related to like you know the jobian side while entrepreneurship is more related to uh, like you know uh, on startups so let's see what project management is basically a methodology a systematic approach that how one could uh, plan and manage a project outcome right so mindset is very important while the, the entrepreneurship is a mindset so if we combine this mindset with the project management skills so it becomes like you know um, a golden uh, output a product so you know with the spirit of entrepreneurs that uh, entrepreneurs are often described as a dreamers and idealists right their uh, perseverance and hard driving nature are driven by 
self impose necessary to succeed so they always thinking to be successful that's it. Uh, one of the analogies that is used to describe the heart and spirit of entrepreneur is that the olympic athlete who challenged himself to break uh, their own records or new barriers within the business contest entrepreneurs are differentiated from their business management counterparts because they are the one that are known for continuously seeking opportunities new dimensions for taking risk beyond the conventional norms of security uh, who possesses undeniable tenacity to push the ideas through so there are two levels macro level and micro level so consider how entrepreneurism is defined uh, consider entrepreneurism from the macro and micro level uh, there are two school of thoughts. Let's see what are these one macro levels things are like for example environmental issues political social issues uh, Financial or capital issues seed or growth of the capital buy in and exit strategy uh, For the investor as a focal point and the displacement and the emphasis on group phenomena plus expel job So these are like you know macro level at the bigger level if you look at the micro level, so micro level means micro school of thought views, entrepreneurs, trades, uh, venture opportunity, strategic formulation. So these, like you know, these three comes on a micro level. So we need a, a balance between entrepreneurship and project management. Uh, how can we have that one? So basically, it focus on uh, balance between entrepreneurship and project management attributes. Uh, and it's emerging in the corporation through strategic project management project portfolio management so and it is definite and the definition recognizes the strategic and tactical requirements for successful business operations including the implementation of the projects which are related to entrepreneurial ventures so uh, there is another uh, reference and uh, acknowledge and evolving the role of project managers by stating that if projects are to succeed on time and budget, three variables must be of uh, integral. A single point of accountability must be there. Trust and objectivity from the external consultant must be imposed. And a core set of competencies uh, need to optimize the outcome. So these, like, you know, three are more integral part for the success. So project management role, like uh, uh, implementation specialists are needed. Uh, project managers are increasingly expected to be more than implementation specialists who take direction from project sponsor and clients. If you consider that optimizing the outcome means more than uh, timeliness and cost effective delivery. So how project manager's role changes entrepreneur to the entrepreneur role. So PM rather incorporates upfront design of the uh, delivery solution aligns with the customer needs through the fitness of the use of application post project focus upon additional opportunities requiring innovation through an action and the last but not the least is the new arena and the set of expectation for the project management so the new responsibility of the project management uh, as per the davidson in frame in 1994 he said that uh, these are the new responsibility as a new project management where there is an increased emphasis towards consulting, business development, acumen for the project management. And this is an attribute we would normally attribute to the entrepreneurial ventures. Uh, PM must go beyond. What does it mean? It means that project manager must go beyond the mechanism of the project implementation. He needs to develop, uh, refine people management and communication skills are, which are geared around Negotiation and persuasion are very, very important because uh, keen business problem solvers resulting in defining new and creative business solutions and to capable conducting sophisticated risk taker strategies and therefore demonstrating their ability to be calculated risk takers. So best in class uh, individual who possesses the skills and attributes of the two entities uh, like, you know, completely different in style approach background and expectation so in trying to merge the mindset of the project management and entrepreneurs we are faced with the following uh, paradox so paradox uh, if the nature of the entrepreneur is not to be tied to the rules processes and methods then how can project manager as a methodology be a value to the entrepreneurs this is, this is one of the paradox conversely how does the project manager whose basis of success is measured 
by the ability to follow the rules and attain the triplet uh, con uh, constraints adopted the risk takers entrepreneurial state of the mind right so these are like you know paradox and so thank you very much and uh, i hope you enjoy this uh, this speech thank